بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سنة ريفايفل باي شيخ معيز بخاري سنن ذات هيلبس يو سليب بيتر Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari with a new episode of the Sunnah Revival series for the Daily Reminder Network. Sleep is indeed a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sleep allows an individual to refresh his or her body and spirit. As our maker rightfully states in the Noble Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَابْتِغَاءُكُمْ مِنْ فَضْلٍ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَسْمَعُونَ And of his signs is your sleep by night and by day, and your seeking of his great bounty. Indeed, in that are signs for those who hearken. Allahu Akbar. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, sleep deprivation causes a great deal of pain, discomfort, and other health-related issues. And it is even one of the modern methods of torturing prisoners and captives. For the distress and disorientation that sleep deprivation causes, generally or usually it is enough to break the will of even the most strongest of human beings. Our deen is so beautiful and so complete that our master Muhammad did not leave us groping in the dark. He even taught us how we should sleep. So for today's episode, we will be touching on a few sunan related to sleep insha'Allah ta'ala. So number one on the list is early to bed, early to rise. In accordance with the words of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, which has been recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah, that one should not sleep before the night prayer, which is salatul isha, nor should one have any discussions after it. So it is important that we believers go to bed early and wake up early. As the proverb goes, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Number two on the list is to dust and clean one's bed before sleeping in accordance with the words of the Prophet ﷺ, which has been recorded in the book of Imam Muslim. Number three is that the Prophet ﷺ, when he went to bed, he used to supplicate, Allahumma bismika ahya wa amut. O Allah, in your name I live and I die. This particular narration has been recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah. Next in line is that the Prophet ﷺ, we used to place his hands together, blow into them and recite Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, the last three surahs from the Noble Quran. He would recite these three surahs and then wipe his hands over as much as he could from his body, beginning with his head, face and front part of his body. And he وسلم, used to do this thrice, three times. Next in line is to switch off the lights before sleeping. Hadith is in Bukhari, the Prophet وسلم, is reported to have said along the lines of these words, put out your lamps when you go to bed, shut the doors and close water as well as food containers. This may tally with current scientific understanding that it is of utmost importance to maintain a dark environment during sleep so as not to disturb the rhythm of one's sleep. The final sunnah in line is that the Prophet وسلم, when he would wake up, he would supplicate Alhamdulillahi ahyana ba'dama amatana wa ilayhi nushur Praise be to Allah, the one who gave us life after causing us to die and unto him is the final resurrection, Allahu Akbar Because after all, sleep is considered a minor death before we conclude, a small note in regard to yawning and nightmares, for after all they are related to sleep.
Yawning is an unacceptable behavior for us believers, especially in public places. If you feel like yawning, you are supposed to try and stifle it as much as possible and cover your mouth with your hand. Because the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said along the lines of these words, and the narration is recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari, yawning is from the devil. When, when, when any one of you feels like yawning, he or she should try to stifle it as much as possible. For if you yawn, the devil laughs. In regard to nightmares, nightmares that disturb an individual and keep him or her awake are generally from the devil. Because dreams are of three types. Number one are the good dreams that are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two are the type which are generally the reflection of what that individual is thinking about. And the final type are the nightmares that are from the devil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all. Now let us discuss very swiftly a few measures that can be taken to protect ourselves from such devilish nightmares. Number one is to read Ayatul Kursi before sleeping because this has been proven in the narration which has been recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari. The individual who reads Ayatul Kursi uh, he is given or offered the protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no devil can get near to him until morning. Allahu Akbar. Number two is what we discussed earlier to read the last three surahs of the Noble Quran Surah Al Ikhlas, Surah Al Falak, and Surah Al Nas and to wipe your hands all over your body because then too you are protected from the devils. And finally, if an individual experiences a nightmare, according to the teachings of Rasulullah ﷺ, which has once again been recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari, the individual who experiences a nightmare and he wakes up suddenly, he should turn to his left and spit dryly, dry spitting thrice. He should spit dryly and seek refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A'udhu billahi min shaytanir rajeem. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, then that nightmare will not have any effect on him. In other words, it will not frighten him or disturb him or her. So with that, we conclude today's episode. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all to revive these amazing sunan of our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible, to share in on the reward and also to inspire an amazing sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'waya and alhamdulillahi rabbil alam.